Welcome to the testing world. So in this session, I'll give you a basic overview of ride environment. So ride is robot IDE. We are going to use this IDE for creating our test cases. In this session, I'll explain you environment. So I'm moving to my command prompt. First of all, we need to move to this location like where my Python is installed. So see Python and under the Python, we have a script folder. I can show you this architecture even while the installation process, we have seen that, but I'm going to show it again. One more time so inside the python location we are going to get this script folder and here i just copy this location and from command prompt we need to move to this location so once we are here on a script location now we can start robot ide so for that write dot py as i enter robot framework test data editor is started here i'm going to explain environment so whenever we want to start work on ride first we need to create a new project we can understand this project as a test suite we can have multiple test cases inside this project so as i click on this new project and that's the location where my project is going to be saved you can change this location if required. So I'm changing the location to anywhere inside my system. I'm going to E drive and make a new folder over here. It's a testing word. Click on OK. So I'm saving my project into the E testing word location. That is the name of the project that you want to give. As of now, we are keeping it as a file or we can create a directory as well. So I'm just keeping it as a file. Click on OK. So here we can see one project is created and indirectly I'll say so one test suite is created. Right click on this project and here we have the option of new test case. So now we are ready to write a test case inside the project. Before moving to the test case, I just want to explain you the environment. So here we have three tabs, edit, text edit and run. So here on edit, we are going to get a GUI environment where we can add library resources. We can add few variables, scalar, list, dictionary. So we can add a lot of data over here. The data which we are adding here on the project level can be used inside the test cases. Here we have a text edit whatever the task we are performing here on, on the GUI mode will be reflected here in the text edit whatever the code we are writing over here will be reflected here on the edit these two windows are going to sync with each other next is run after creating our test cases we are going to execute these test cases so we have few options over here like run start the run stop pause continue so these are the few options here we have one option is report when we are going to execute our test cases at the end we can click over here it's going to generate a html report in the same way we can check logs we have many more options we are going to cover these options when we will start working on the test cases so i'm just moving to project right click on the project new test case so i want to create first test case and whatever the name you want to give you can write it over here just click on ok so now i'm creating first test case and as you can see we again have three windows edit it's a gui environment where we can perform different tasks by click on button we have a text edit again that's a coding area we can write coding over here and that's a run tab here, if you see on the test case level, we have different options like setup, teardown, tags. So here on the edit area, we can write our test cases here in this tabular format. I'm going to explain each and every option that is mentioned over here like setup, teardown in coming sessions. 
so we got the idea like whenever we are going to start on ride editor we are going to create a project inside the project we are going to create test cases later on i'll show you the concept of directory so we can maintain directory structure as well so i'll show you how we can work on that so now we got the basic understanding about the environment and as we got to know we need to create test case and here we can write test cases so in, in next session i'll show you how we can write first test case that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video